Hi! Tonight I thought we would work on changing a needle to see how well this goes. So we'll uh, make our way over to the machine. We're going to be changing needle number one and uh, we're going to need a couple of tools for this that, that uh, these tools both would have come in your um, toolbox, tool kit that you got. And uh, since I work on embroidery, this is about the most advanced tool that I work with. Even though my garage is full of them, I just work with these. So we're going to need a little Allen wrench. I'll put it up here so you can see it. We're going to need that. And then we're also going to need the one that we use to change, the one that we use to use our, um, where we use it to thread our machine. Okay. So what we're going to do first is, you're probably wondering, why do I have a hoop stuck in here in the machine? Because it's going um, to get in our way of changing out our needle. Well, again, my life is made up of nothing but trial and error, mostly error. So I will tell you why I have this in here. Again, this is not said by baby lock, by brother, anybody. This is just a little tip that I learned from one of my mistakes. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to use this tool to back out a tiny, tiny screw that holds the needle in. This one right there. We're gonna back that, uh, that little screw out. Now I'm gonna show you how big the screw is. I'm not sure if you can see it. There is one extra one. They are very tiny. We're not gonna back it all the way out. We're just going to back it about halfway out, just enough so I can get that needle to drop out. The reason that I have, um, and any hoop will do, and I just have a, uh, just a piece of stabilizer in here, is the very first time that I went to change a needle, I backed the screw too far out. Well, I backed it all the way out and it went drop, drop, and it was gone. Because a couple of bounces, that screw was gone. I had no extra of those screws, so I couldn't use, there was no way I could anchor in a needle with missing one of those screws. So I had to call a, a dealership and I figured I know how much little screws cost going up to Ace True Value or any of our hardware stores. I thought, oh, those will be, you know, 10 cents, 20 cents, quarter at the most. This little screw cost me $4. So I'm not going to lose one of those again. So that's why I have, have this hooped in here. Again, it's just a piece of stabilizer. You could use fabric. This is going to act as like a, a, a trash can or a um, device. So if I accidentally back this out too far, it's just going to drop right into here and it will catch it. Okay. So now that we got that, again, what time is it? And I tell you how to build a how to build a clock. Um, so first thing we're going to do, use this tool. We're going to back this little screw part way out. Okay. Let's stop right about there and see if that is far enough. Now we're going to take the tool that we used when we threaded our machine. Remember, we used this little part here. We are going to use that again. But if you press up on this, it develops a little notch. A little notch opens up. Again, I release it like what we've always used before. Press up on it, and that opens up this little notch area. We are going to take that notch and we're going to let's see how well we can do this. Okay, again, I've got it pressed so the notch is open. I'm going to reach in. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to reach in and grab onto that. I've released it now. Let me pull this out of here so you can see what I just did. Okay, I'll show you here. Okay. What I did was, again, our little tool, the way we normally use it, press it, it opens up the notch. What I did, I kept it pressed, and then once I had that around the, the needle, I let go of it, and it has captured my needle. It's not going anywhere, because it's being held in there. 
So that's the same way that we are going to put the new needle in. So let me get rid of this one. Okay, here's my new needle. Um, again, the nice, I've had a couple different brands of embroidery machines. The one, the reason I really like, one of the reasons I like the Baby Lock and Brother is their needles have a flat spot that will go on the back. These needles will only go in the machine one way. I had a different brand where the needles were completely round and that made getting the the placement of the needles much harder. But since these will only fit one way, even I can change these needles. So again, we're going to take our tool. We're going to press up on it to open that little notch open. I'm going to grab my needle, place it in there, let go of it. Okay. We're going to want the, I don't know if you can see that or not, the back side of the needle, the top of it is flat. That's going to go in to the back. Okay. So let's see how well we can do this. Let's get this thread out of here. Okay, let's get that out of there. So we're going to drop the needle part down into there first and hopefully I can do this I have my trusty son in here doing my camera work and I'm working a little different angle than what I normally uh, normally do this at so I'm sure it's gonna appear as though I don't know what I'm doing which really I don't but we're gonna try anyway so what we want to do is <laughs> slide this up in there just like I did okay and it looks like it's all the way up in there. Now I'm still holding the needle in place because I haven't uh, tightened the screw part yet that holds the needle in there. And I'm not sure if you can see it with all my fingers. It's like watching a surgery on TV. All you see are hands and, hands and fingers in there. Can you see it okay? Okay. So I'm going to tighten the screw that we loosened. The one we don't want to completely take out and have it bounce on the ground okay that is the needle is snug in there again you can see how well that attaches to the needle I'm going to press it and remove it so now our needle our new needle has been installed now i know you guys are all a pro with this we're just going to re-thread it again same tool same little notch that we use. Same little up and in we go. Pulled it down. Hit the needle thread button. On the, oops, sorry, on the right hand side. Then under this part here. Pull it up. Up and over that. Press the needle uh, thread button again and we've changed our first needle and that's all there is to it well other than the other nine but this is how this is how I changed the needles in the baby lock valiant thank you